Hi, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolors. Thank you for joining me in another quick video. Today we're gonna look at a portrait of my friend Mary. So Mary is another watercolor artist I found on Instagram. I never met her in person because she lives in Moscow and I live in Seattle so it's kind of hard to meet her in person but she does some very very beautiful work um, especially flowers and such and that's something I really paint so I link her Instagram in the description down below so you can go check out her beautiful work anyways I base this painting on one of her photo that she shared on Instagram and I found that photo the lighting on her is just very very beautiful and admittedly she is a very beautiful girl so that's part of the reason that why this looks really pretty but on top of that she's wearing a yellow shirt and the lighting on her feels really nice and warm so I really feel like I want to paint this one and just like any other painting I start with pencil drawing an accurate solid drawing is very very important and necessary for a portrait painting like this and in this case we have her head all the way down to her waist so to get a proportion gesture and the structure of her head and her body right is very very important so I usually start my drawing very loose just to sort of block out the proportion of the head and the body and then I sketch out the structure of her face and her body so after cleaning up the line with eraser, I start to get into the painting. I decide not to do a overall first wash because I want to keep the light very, very bright, almost white. So I decided to just go directly into the painting. And while it is still wet, I can add some soft shape on that. And some of the soft shape on the face is very, very important to give that soft transition looking. So for example, down to her chin, down to her neck those are very important to feel that the form is turning and then after it's dry I start to go into a little bit more detail a little bit darker really trying to model the face now this is fast forward but each brush stroke I try to sink twice before I paint it down so when you're painting portraits try to think about where the brush stroke is going to go what are you trying to define where is the hard edge where is the soft edge and so on and i just want to take this chance to thank you and it's been an amazing years the growth of this channel while this is not like some viral channel that all of a sudden i got like million subscriber but i really don't need this channel to be that i just want this channel to be people who want to learn and paint watercolor to subscribe and come over and look at the video and watch the video and if this video help you in any way or just pique your interest to watercolor that's all that really matters and i especially want to thank people who support me by purchase my painting a little bookmark or people who sign up my course you guys really encourage me to keep going and keep doing what i'm doing here big overall wash for her yellow shirt they're not going to be white on the shirt because the lightest yellow color is still yellow and I definitely don't want it to have brighter value than her face because her face is wider than the shirt so I don't want a shirt to have really high value it will have contrast but it will have different range of value than the face and now the face is dry I paint the hair behind her face and this is the chance that I get to define her silhouette a little bit more and in the photo you can tell her hair has a lot of details but I cannot translate them all into the painting I treat the hair as big shape and group instead of thousands of little hair strength so while I try to make it into one wash I just give some little details on the end of the hair so a little bit dry brush stroke that just gives some feeling of floating hair and that does the job pretty well so treat the hair as one big shape because this is such a large area so I want to make this area looking clean with some color variation and leave out some highlights just a little bit of highlight that suggests the highlight of the hair and then I fade the back of her hair out into the light 
I fade back of her hair into the light. That's something I started to do quite a bit nowadays. I feel when I fade that off into the light, it feels a little bit more atmospheric. Then to give a very defined edge of the hair. The shirt is casting a little bit of shadow on her chest and I'm making sure that I get that in. That will give a lot of dimensionality. To really do a lot of wet and wet to give that transition value from light to dark that really defines the form and then I suggest a little bit of wrinkles, the stretch and pull of her shirt. All this will support the shape of her body and the curvature of her torso which is very very beautiful and that's definitely something that I want to capture in. So adding just little bits and piece of sort of this occlusion from the hair to her neck. And starting to go over the skin once again, just to give a little bit deeper value in the shadow area. Now even though I'm painting some of the shadow area of her face, that doesn't necessarily mean I make it very dark. You can see the face are still mostly in a very light value. And the reason for that is you want to keep the skin feeling clean and transparent. If I starting to add a lot of burn umber and dark value, it will start getting very muddy very quickly. And each layer, each wash I do, I need to make sure I've done so very cleanly with least amount of brush stroke that I can do. If I start to dabbing a lot, the color will become very, very muddy because all the paint will start to get pushed around by the brush strokes. Now another layer on the shirt gives some more darker value, define the wrinkle a little bit more. And then I move on to her arm. Now she's holding a painting, obviously that's not something I'm going to paint. I don't want to replicate her painting in my painting that's going to be a lot of work. And then the point of the portrait is not really the painting that she's holding, like it's her. By herself so I do like how her hand is gestured it looks really elegant so I'll keep her arm and her hand the same way but I will not paint the painting another layer of value on her hair to just define the shape of her hair a little bit more some form turning And I start to paint her hand and notice how simple I keep in. It's just pretty much a light value and a slightly darker value just to define the form. And then that's about it. And I have the shadow area of her hand and her wrist fade into the background. I want to do that because I don't want it to compete with the face and her body, which is the main focus of the painting. So I do want to suggest her hand, but I'll keep it very, very simple. Her skin should have some of the bounce light, bounce off her yellow shirt, which is the yellow light. So I have a little bit yellow tone in her skin, which is unify the whole painting a little bit better. And we're finished.
Thank you so much for watching. This will be probably be my last video for the year. So I wish you all have a very nice holiday. Please also visit my website for my paintings and you can sign up for a free PDF guide and check out my online course. Thank you and I'll see you next year.